just to give you an idea here there's three main parts this is the, the, the tab part I suppose that's the way to call it there is a timeline part and then there is a bottom of the screen so the bottom of the screen is split into two components there's one component is like a worksheet like a Excel if you like where you can actually input data and the second part of the screen is more a visualization part it's where you will actually visualize the outcome of your scheduling work so you don't need to take notes now I just wanted to input a very quick project here just to show you what it looks like. Some of you might never have seen Microsoft projects so I think that could be useful and then I will go through the top of the screen to explain some of the key components before we get started in the six-step process. So let's say you wanna go on holidays and you need to get the approval from your manager and after you need to do the bookings. So just for the preparation of the holidays let's say you need to get approval from manager first and you estimate it's going to take you around five days to do this so you just input the task and the duration no need to take note as, as I was saying I, I will go through th those steps um, a little bit later then you need to decide on the destination maybe do some uh, investigation so that, that could take you a bit longer let's say 10, 10 days those are working days by the way and then finally uh, you do the bookings you know perform bookings activity and then you have five days so Microsoft project is a product that calculates milestones of a project based on uh, the task that you would input task duration and task dependencies so on the left hand side here I would input the tasks and here that would represent the tasks in a more visual way so this is a calendar so you have the date here on top so that shows you on the, on the calendar here where are my tasks and then here you would input a task name you would input the duration this is calculated automatically so today we are the 23rd of July so I have this here calculated aut automatically and you have the, the predecessor so this is where you would put your links you would link your tasks because obviously you cannot do the three at the same time there is there is some type of dependency between the tasks and then you can put the resource name so no need to see how I'm doing this it's just to show you how it works and uh, let's say John will do this Che Mary will do this and then John will do this so you've noticed I've, what I've done here is I've just linked the task and I've just allocated a resource for each one of those by linking those tasks I have changed the, the, the way the screen looks like so this is a Gantt chart so this is way this is the way the Gantt chart would look like it's it's a visualization of this task is being visual, visualized here with an end date here this task here is, is visualized here with an end date here and then same for that one so you would have the start date here 23rd of July you would have the end date calculated by Microsoft project the 19th of August so that's the whole purpose of Microsoft project in a nutshell if you like you input tasks you input durations you input dependencies if you wanna you know you can also input resources you know it's often used for for large projects and then you can visualize this so there are you'll see that there's different ways that we can uh, visualize these so many ways and so, so many components here it's showing the resource but you can show so many other components and here obviously you, you can have more complex dependencies and and more complex formatting as well we look at all this but what you've seen here is you have a start date you have an end date the start date is visualized here the end date is visualized here if I want to change the amount of day let's say I only need three days so you just change three days here and then it calculate automatically uh, everything else so that brings my the end of my little project back to 10 for August so that's it for an overview in the next video we will show you the top of the screen that I've uh, left alone